Let's begin this morning with the dangerous tropical storm Ian, expected to intensify into a major hurricane on a direct path to Florida. Ian moving toward the United States a day after Fiona slammed Canada, knocking out power for nearly half a million people. We have both storms covered, beginning with NBC meteorologist Bill Karens on the forecast for Ian. Bill, good morning. Uh, good morning to you, Willie. And this weekend, we've had some changes. The forecast has been improving for the east coast of Florida, especially the Miami area, but from Tampa and now all all of the panhandle, all eyes are on what happens with Ian over the next three to four days. The storm is still a relatively weak tropical storm, but that is going to change. It's over very warm water and it's going to intensify. Don't be surprised if you hear on Monday afternoon or Monday evening, it's then a major hurricane. And then by the time we get to Tuesday into Wednesday morning, could all the way up to a category four, about as scary as it gets in the southern Gulf. So where does it head from this point? Notice it's away from Key West. Forecast has been improving for Key West. Fort Myers is still on the edge of the cone, but it's really from Tampa all the way through Tallahassee, Apalachicola, heading towards Panama City and Pensacola. That's where the forecast has been trending. One thing that's going to be interesting is that towards the end of this forecast, the storm should get a little bit weaker. Notice the Hurricane Center has it going from a Category 3 to a Category 1, so maybe a little less wind damage, but the storm surge would still be a huge issue from when it was a major hurricane and all that water heading along the east, the west coast of Florida. As far as our computer models go, we are watching our European models still more towards Tampa. The USA model, our GFS, is more towards Pensacola, and all our other models, Willie, are all in between. So we still have some questions to answer of where it's going, but it will be a serious storm. Yeah, whichever model you follow, a long week ahead for the state of Florida. Bill Karens, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.